energy of a photon in joule energy of a photon is given by formula e is equals to h nu and this is given by the planck so this is planck's formula and we also know v is equals to nu lambda where v is the velocity and nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength since all electromagnetic radiation moves with the velocity of light and even the photons moves the velocity of light so we can write v as c and where c is the velocity of light so this becomes c is equals to nu lambda from here we can write nu is equals to c by lambda so if i put this value nu in this equation i will have e is equals to h nu or e is equals to h c by lambda so energy of a photon is given by formula h c by lambda now let us work in si unit h has a value of 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule into second and c is the velocity of light and its value is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and let's say lambda is unknown so we can write this as 6.626 into 3 and second goes and we have joule into meter and this is 10 to the power minus 26 joule into meter and this divided by lambda so let us say 6.626 into 3 this is equals to 19.878 into 10 to the power minus 26 joule into meter this divided by lambda now let us say lambda is given in angstrom lambda is x angstrom so i can write x into 10 to the power minus 10 meter because we know 1 angstrom is equals to 10 to the power minus 10 meter so lambda in angstrom is given by x angstrom so we can convert this into meter so if i plot this value put this value here we will have 19.878 into 10 to the power minus 26 joule into meter and this divided by lambda lambda is x into 10 to the power minus 10 meter so meter meter goes so we will have 19.878 into 10 to the power minus 16 divided by x where x is the wavelength in angstrom so what is x x is the wavelength that is lambda in angstrom that is lambda so we can write the same formula energy is equals to 19.878 into 10 to the power minus 16 by lambda and this time lambda is in angstrom we can further modify this formula if i write 19878 into 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power minus 16 is 10 to the power minus 19 divided by lambda in angstrom now we can use this formula as a ready made formula 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by lambda in angstrom 
and this energy will come in joule you see everywhere we have joule so this joule so energy is in joule energy is in joule so if I know lambda in angstrom we can calculate energy in joule by using this formula that is 19878 divided by lambda and into 10 to the power no minus 19 or other way around if lambda is given in angstrom if I want lambda in angstrom we can calculate this one if I know energy in joule this time energy is given in joule for example if I say if I lambda we have lambda is 400 nanometer what is the energy in joule so we have to calculate energy in joule so we can use this ready made formula energy is given by 19878 so you have to remember this number 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule and this divided by lambda in angstrom lambda is given in nanometer we can convert this in angstrom that is 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter we can write same thing as 4000 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter and 10 to the power minus 10 meter is angstrom so we will have 4000 angstrom so now energy can be written as 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule and this divided by 4000 so we can divide this one 19878 this divided by 4000 so this is 4.962 so 4.962 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule we can also have reverse problem let us say if I know photon energy is given that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule the energy is given and then we have to calculate lambda so what is lambda and we have to calculate let us say lambda in angstrom so we'll again use the formula we know energy is equals to 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule and this divided by lambda in angstrom or we can write lambda in angstrom is equals to 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule divided by energy and this energy has to be in joule so energy is given in this formula that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 19 so energy is given one nine eight seven eight into 10 to the power minus 19 so minus 19 goes so we will have one nine eight seven eight and this divided by 5 so this is 3975 3975 angstrom so bevel length is 3975 angstrom or we can write in meter that is 3975 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter so you have to remember this formula energy in joule is equals to 19878 into 10 to the power minus 19 and divided by lambda in angstrom this will give you energy in joule similarly we have another formula energy in ev and this is given by 12400 divided by lambda in angstrom and this time you will get energy in ev if you use these two formula to calculate energy of a photon in joule or electron volt you will have you will have to do less calculation because every time you don't have to calculate the value of h into c because we have already given the value of h into c so we does not need to calculate we does not need to calculate value of hc every time 
and that is the benefit of this formula.